Hi, my name is Steve Cordero. I'm from Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. How does the Bootstrapper installation process work with Adobe Acrobat 11? Bootstrapper deployment is a way of utilizing the setup INI file as a control file to chain all of the updates in an installation so that there is one continuous installation and hence one package to deploy. Let's get started. The first step is to copy the installation flat files to a location on your hard drive. Here are our flat files and we're going to want to select all of those and then copy. And then we're going to want to go to a location on our hard drive where we're actually going to copy them. And this is a pre-created directory I've uh, made called A11 Bootstrapper and we're going to paste those in there. Okay, done. The next step is to navigate to our actual setup files and we're going to copy in the update file and the MST file that we're going to use for our bootstrapper and we're going to paste them in to that location as well. And there we have it. We've got the MSP file, the update file and we've got the MST file. Now I'm going to take this opportunity to copy the name of the update file because we're going to use it when we're editing the setup INI file. And now the next step is you got it. We're going to edit the setup INI file in Notepad. And let's expand this window to give you a better view. And we're going to go to the product section and we're going to add a couple of lines. The first line we're going to add is patch equal. And then we're going to add the name of the patch file. And then since the update files for Acrobat 10 and 11 are all-in-one updaters. We won't need to add any more patch files because it will update for the entire set. The next line we need to add is the command line. Command line equal transforms equal. And this is very important. You need to add the quotes, the double quotes. And we're going to put the name of the MST file, which is acropro.mst. And if you don't put those double quotes there, what will happen is that you'll get an installation that doesn't have your customizations, nor will it have the serial number, and it'll go into trial mode. So make sure you do that, and you'll have a good uh, bootstrapper installation. So now we're done. We just need to save this file and exit. So we're going to save, file, save, and then file, exit, and we're done creating. Now the next step is to actually run the bootstrapper installation. Now if you were going to do this from the command line, you could do this by running setup.exe space forward slash s all and that would do a silent installation for you. But we want to see the installation so we're going to do that right now. user account control and yes we're going to give the program the ability to make changes on this computer and the language for this installation will be English okay and here we have it and you can see it's got the update title in here 
and just say next. Welcome to Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro setup. And we're going to say next. And here we have the username, the organization. I have a serial number and the serial number. And we're going to click next. We're going to leave this at a typical installation. Say next. And we're going to leave the default location. Next. And now we're ready to install. And click the install button. Setup complete. Finish. And Adobe Acrobat 11 is installed. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.